Hello and welcome back to Pandemic Playground with Dave. So it's been a while, but we have experiment for you guys today, and that is how to build over the build limit. So let's get started. All right, so what do I mean by this is basically, even with the PCU limit off, there seems to be some kind of build limit or build height limit in Space Engineers. And I know a lot of you had kind of warned me about it and was wondering what um, am I going to do to combat that issue? <laughs> so even though we got this far, which is about 20 kilometers away from the ground or surface level, we can also check it by using the worm welding machines cockpit or helm to see that we're about 20,461 meters, about 20 kilometers above the surface right so that seems to be kind of the build limit well it's right here basically so i noticed this the moment that my welders on top stopped working <laughs> so as you see here just decided not to weld this and even with me trying to weld it it doesn't work and then i tried building above it and it still didn't work but i noticed that it could build horizontal from it with no issues and if you were to grind this down and rebuild it it works perfectly fine so the problem and issue that we run into is this there's a build height limit or build length limit probably horizontally the same thing 20 kilometers away roughly so how do we get past this well that's what today's experience is about and it's pretty much a, somewhat of a how-to do it in kind of my way especially for this elevator system which we don't have a lot of choices in terms of choosing um, what solutions we can use All right so the basic idea and how we're gonna combat this issue how to build over this quote unquote build limit in terms of height is to create some kind of secondary grid so that's what we're planning to do here so there's multiple ways of doing it. One thing I had in mind, and I really did do it in the original filming and recording of building a time lapse, is to actually use something as simple as a connector. <laughs> no joke, that's pretty much all I used. So in order to make a secondary grid, basically I add a connector here, right in the middle. Luckily I made these little holes here. Well, it doesn't really matter if there was a hole or not, but we make these little holes, we add in the connector on each port right there. And the tricky part about this, once we weld it all up. All right, so that's all welded up. And again, the tricky part about this is that you cannot do a connection um, from a connection. Meaning if I were to do something like this, Put a connector here and then put another block here and a connector here because this would be the easiest way to connect the whole entire system right um, going this way here and then remove these blocks and have it connected because this is loose so if we did it that way it's not going to work so let me weld this up really quick as well and i'll show you what i mean all right so we have our connectors touching like this and if we were to ready and lock it, it is still one grid technically. So that's why we can't build over it. But if we start to remove this block here, and we can't remove that. We need that <laughs> to hold this one up. But if you move that block, it becomes a secondary grid in technically in a sense. But as you see here, I still cannot build over this build height because it was part of the initial grid. So we do have to separate it. So the main way to kind of separate it is to go into the controls and unlock it of course and let it magnetize again and as you see here you would think it should work perfectly fine but it's not maybe because this blocks in the way potentially let's get rid of that and see well, looks like i get rid of this one as well potentially and this one just in case let's just do that and see if we build it. Nope. So it won't let me build over it because I did it that way. So it is a loose block, but it won't let me build above it still because 
the way we initiated it or the way we built it and put it together. So let's just eliminate this piece here and I'll show you exactly what I did, which was a little bit difficult to do, but worked out pretty well. And dropping items like that is not a smart thing. All right, so this is what I did. All right, so instead of building what I just did before, which is basically putting connector with some blocks first to so mix it straight, we had to go the route of actually building or placing the connector upside down and slightly above it so it falls down to it. Now we're in space so the gravity is not as intense so it works out okay but the placement is very very important here so we just gotta back it up and line up perfectly and hopefully that's good to go. Weld it up and then we can lock it in place. Alright, so now since it's magnetized, it's not locked or anything like that after welding it, we can now lock it and we can bring and build above it. And it helps with the build limit issue. But what we still need to do is make sure it lines up perfectly fine with this tower so that our welders can go up, our landing gears can go up, and eventually our rotor wheels and everything like that to go up as well. Um, the, the elevator platform is in that sense because it does have pretty much everything that the worm has here. So we definitely need to weld it up and line it up almost perfectly. So how do we do that? Well, one way I was doing is to place blocks out here on the side where you can connect to the connector and then and then surround the whole entire thing with blocks also because you can't connect it on the short side you have to connect on the long side so here you see we have an issue we can't place a block here right um so we have to unlock it and place a block there so we're gonna do that we're just gonna unlock this really quick place a block there and we should be kind of balanced out or whatnot um but let's see what happens so in order to guide it perfectly we make these extra blocks over here and go downwards. So now you see this one's fine. This one's fine. This one's fine. And oh, I got lucky. This one's fine as well. So that kind of all lines up and it, it sticks pretty well to the tower itself. So that means we're not going to have too much of a gap in between the, the tower itself or the column. So now we can just go back and of course, lock this thing down. Like so. So now, as you see, we can continue building upwards in this case. And we just gotta spread it out to the three towers or the other two towers and the middle piping system connecting kind of the same way. It's as simple as pretty much doing the same thing. We're just except we can do it we can make it as easy as now building the connection off of this block or placement so if we did this and then placed our connector right here that's going to work fine and it's going to be part of that grid system and it's kind of the same thing with the middle um, piping system we can just easily do this place a connector here put more blocks downwards up to this point and as you see here I cannot place anything on the height limit here there but of course we can still put stuff here and once we weld it all up this acts as one large grid that's separate from the original grid itself so that's how you make that secondary grid for these towers and of course, what we want to do is bring the welding worm above all this first before making the projection. Because this, the projection needs to be on the secondary grid. It cannot be on this grid and it's, it won't continue. So that's the biggest problem I'm going to run into. So one way to fix this whole issue is make the towers first as high as we can for the welding system. To get above this line so once we're above that line we can put a projector and project it up and continue our build 
So that's the way I built it out and that's the way I got past this whole height limit issue. So there, there seems to be other ways to do it um, as a possibility, but this worked out really, really well for me. And it, it, it's just, it just lines up really, really well um, on all sides. So if you do run into an issue where it doesn't stick well with these blocks here, um, what you can do and what I had to do at one point was to grab a ship and just nudge it a little bit, uh, unlock it and nudge it, and then it became um, a non-issue anymore. So just as a proof of concept, um, all these can lock in right here. So we can make sh so we can build them out separately. So this one can now lock in. This one could lock in as well. All right, so we got all three connectors locked in. And of course, we can continue building upwards on all three pillars. And of course, we could separate it out as well if we needed to. Well, we're going to have to in order to keep the elevator going uh, because we need to build this, bring this back up. But as you see here, we can kind of still go upwards in that case. So once you get the worm up high enough past this line right here, that's when we got to connect everything back together. It's going to be as easy as merge blocking all together. And of course, you have to unlock it to merge block it. So basically, right now, all three are separate. You would want to put back the blocks here and put in some merge blocks. So basically, a merge block to connect from here to this grid. And we want a connection from this grid to this grid. So in order to do that, of course, we got to weld up the merge blocks. So as you see here, the initial merge blocks are touching, but not turning green to merge it. So that's why we have to unlock these connectors. Um, so we unlock this one and that's merged in. And we got to unlock this one and that's merged in. So now this grid here and that part of the grid there is now merged to that grid over there. So we can lock it back up if we need to. And we're good to go. All right. So as you can see, this is the finished product here of our space elevator. We are roughly almost 30 to 30 kilometers, I think halfway there. But this is, as you see on my GPS marker, this is the 20 kilometers down from the surface. And right here is the highlighted piece with the connectors. So basically, if I were to take this off, you'll see the lock connectors there. So as I said before, once we get the worm above this, we merge everything together put in a projector so we can project even higher so that combats our build limit or height limit so we probably may need to do this again once we hit 40 kilometers which is still slightly within the gravity range so we have to continue on and press on with those connectors and a way to build over this height limit but of course, it's an experimental video today anyway, so we are going to play with different ways of probably building above this height limit. All right, so of course, to make things a lot quicker and easier, let's go into uh, creative mode or enable creative mode tools just to play around with different ways we could make a second grid for these towers. So of course, connectors are and is a really, really quick way of fixing this issue or continue to build up. And since it's connected, the power is shared and everything like that. So we're good. Everything will be moving along in terms of gathering materials and things like that. Now, merge blocks. I'm not too sure if that's going to work. So let's just see if it does. So if we throw a merge block right here in the middle. And we throw a merge block right here. Of course, you can't build on top of it. So let's see if we can just go slightly off of it. Like so. See if we can drop it in there. And have it connect oh it connected can we build above it nope <laughs> so that's the problem you're gonna run to once it's connected but can we unlock it right there 
and build up uh, above it. We could build at its level, but we can't seem to build above. So that's that's not going to work out. <laughs> so what if we were to build a merge block right here? We can't build above it, but we'll just let it drop slightly above it. And I'm going to throw it right here and build above it from here. Okay, so that works fine. But do we make it like slightly offset it and then build it here and try to have it connected? Would that work? <laughs> Looks like we might have to enlist a ship here. So give me a second. All right. So just um, pasted my little tool here. And this is the experimental save game. So I'm not messing with the original time lapse build or anything like that. Just, just to play around. So let's see if we just nudge this into place. Oh, there we go. And it's now connected and it's over the build height. But can we build above it? Nope. So once we merge into it, it stops. It creates a new height there. So merge blocks is a possibility, but it's not going to be the best way to go. Because once it's merged in, there's, there's that limit again. So let's see if we toggle it off. Yeah, it's the same issue. So once it's merged in, it becomes part of that grid, but it does extend it if you build above the merge block before you merge it in. So in some ways you could probably do it, but you're going to have a loose tower <laughs> for quite some time. And I don't think this worm's going to be able to walk through it without it falling. So that's a bad way of doing it, but it's a good effort in that sense. Um, let's try... What if we did like a rotor? So if we did like a, a an advanced rotor, let's just say for yeah, yeah, let's try an advanced rotor, which is right there. We can see. Maybe we could do this. Let's see. Does this work? We build it here, and we could build up. So that is another way. That's an easier way, actually. <laughs> um much much better ways and we can always do this too so we can do rotor lock um no velocity maximum torque or no torque doesn't matter but we can change the rotor displacement so we can make it slightly above and not too low right so we could probably do that zero so we probably want to get i don't know what the calculation is but we'll try that 10. So put that there, put this here, and it's looking good. So that's not too bad. And I think we could lock it off just similar way as before. So this is an easier way <laughs> to do it. And we could do it all three towers. And of course, the middle piping system, we can do a connector so we can continue to get our materials that way. So that's that's much easier. I could have just done it that way instead. <laughs> Uh, we don't have to worry too much about doing a, a gap or anything like that. And it lines up easily and perfectly fine. But I think once we get to the point of adding the rotors, let's see if this works. We add the advanced rotor on each side. And of course, we'll do the same thing. Um, negative 10. We could probably just do it this way and lock it. Yeah, that looks good. That's not bad at all. So maybe you should have just done it this way <laughs> initially, but the connector way worked out pretty well too. So that's looking good. Now, kind of the ultimate test is to see if the welding worm is actually going to be able to climb above this. So I'm going to move this guy for now. All right and just add just a little bit more height to this thing really quick all right so let's take that test here we're gonna bring this guy up now we can bring it up so the welder is going to go first obviously because that's the piece that's connected to the bottom but once that extends we'll lock the bottom piece Unlock the top piece and bring it up. So you see the line right there. 
that's where the rotors are so that's what we want to make sure it goes over it and not break anything and that surprisingly worked really really well <laughs> and it seems to be really really good so that's another way to create a secondary grid for this build height limit so here you can bring it up all the way yep this looks good and it fits perfectly fine no issues here of course we want to roll lock everything which i didn't do but it's it's looking good so that's a good way of setting it up just like a connector and of course when we do a projection of the three towers and the middle grid we got to connect it all too so can we merge block everything as simple as just putting the merge blocks here so basically, what I'm trying to say is put merge block here, merge block here. Is that going to work? Yep. Locks into place. So that's perfect. And of course, we want this one and this one to lock into place. So we just need the merge block again. Here and here. So that doesn't want to merge in. So that's interesting. <laughs> so... Huh. What if we did... Oh, there you go. That took a bit of time. But that's now merged in. So if we did it the appropriate way, which is basically... Going from here to here. Like that. So we build a connector right here. And this is all... Yeah, there's all one grid, so that's perfect. And we can just put a projection and continue going further. So that works out really, really well. So now, what if we decided to try something else? Right, so we reset all that and let's try something else. What else can we use other than the connectors and rotors? We could probably, I think, do a hinge as another piece. We can do maybe a piston as well. I would think a piston would work per perfectly fine too. Yep, that works perfectly fine and that's not going to cause any issues here as well and we can do like shared inertia um on here as well but un but unfortunately the the main aspect that we will ultimately need is that connector piece so we can continue to gather materials from the main base so piston looks good what else do we have hinges Unfortunately, hinges, we got to build a block right beneath it first, then build a hinge. So that might work out. Yep, that probably works out per pretty well as well. Yep, that works out really good. And it lines up nearly perfectly, I would think. Let's just make sure. And it does. So that's good. Do we have anything else we can use? I think that's it, right? Any other types of... Of forms of creating a second grid mm. no I think that's it those are the main things we can use oh landing gears so unfortunately I can't use a landing gear because a landing gear takes three spaces but of course that could potentially work as well we could use a magnetic plate in its place um, the only thing is that a magnetic plate is a block lower than what we have so let's just get rid of one layer and we could just throw in the magnetic plate here. So if the tower was a little bit wider, we could have used a landing gear right in the middle. <laughs> we could use a large magnetic plate potentially <laughs> like so. I mean, that may or may not work. I'm not sure, but What's interesting is that it let me build slightly above the limit already. With this auto lock properties, if I line it up just right and drop a block to magnetize, we should be okay as well. Um, I may or may not have just did it perfectly. And let's see. Okay, so I <laughs> I thought I may have lined it up perfect, but it, it's slightly off. 
Uh, I can't build over here. And I can't build under this one here as well. So we're slightly off. So what we can do is basically unlock it. And see if we can build more to it now. And looks like no. So best thing to do, grab a ship and do some nudging. <laughs> so we're going to have to nudge it a little to the left facing this way. Let's just go. I think, oh no, I, of course. I have auto lock on, so that's going to be a problem. So turn auto lock off and unlock it. And yeah, we still can't do anything. So let's nudge this thing to the left a bit. And as you see there, I can now connect it or put the blocks down there. And there we go. I think we are lined up okay. Move the ship over. Okay, I think we're good. So we can just put this here, this here, this here, and this here. And that'll work. So I'm not sure if the landing gears is going to run into an issue with the large magnetic plate that way. And especially the rotor wheels with the elevator, if it's going to work out or not. But another option we could have done is basically use the magnetic the smaller magnetic plates line them up right here like that and put a block right in the middle same exact way so at least the gap is a little bit smaller than having this larger gap here so we can test it to see if it works out okay or not so let's lock that in place we can get rid of all these blocks here all right, so now we have three, three different sets here. We have a hinge, we have a piston, and we have a magnetic plate, which this right here, I don't think it's going to be the best thing in the world, but it should work out okay with the landing gears, but I'm not too sure about the rotor wheels, which is something we can't test at this moment, but we can test out what we got so far. So let's see right here. Let's bring up the welding piece welding worm and let's see if it smoothly goes above it it does that's not bad whatsoever so it's pretty smooth even with the magnetic plate that way so several several options here that you can play around with to get above the build limit or to create a second grid to get past that build limit is there any other blocks we could potentially add as a second grid um at this very moment, I don't think we have anything else to try. But of course, leave a comment down below if you have a different idea. But all in summary, it looks like to make a secondary grid to pa pass this build height limit, we just create a second grid, basically, or a subgrid with either a piston, a rotor, a hinge, or even a magnetic plate. We could get past this height limit by creating a subgrid, a secondary grid with a piston, a hinge, a rotor, a magnetic plate or landing gear and of course the one I use is a connector but I think the easiest ones are the ones right here uh, and plus the rotor where you just slap it on the original grid and then slap on the subgrid above it it's like the pistons inside the column the hinges inside the column the rotor was inside the column those are the easiest ones to do if you want to get a little more difficult of course is the connector and you have the magnetic plates or landing gears to give that a shot so hopefully this explains how to go above the build limit so when you make your own space elevator you know what to do <laughs> so you can get past the 20 kilometer mark as i did here so thanks for watching and of course if you guys enjoyed this video this experiment hit that thumbs up like the video comment down below subscribe to the channel and of course i'll see you guys next time bye